the weather wanted to show us that Christmas is coming, so tada! It was snowing last night. Not much, but it's so cold because there is this cold wind and I am shivering. So <laughs> this is just like we ran out for a minute to film the snow because it's above freezing a bit, so the snow is disappearing, but it feels a little bit Christmassy, so that's nice. Since it's cold, it's time to replace this insect netting on the small house. We are here by the small house. So in summer there is this screen against insects, but in winter we need to add a second layer of windows. So let's do that. To protect my geraniums, which I put here. Yeah, we'll show you. <laughs> Come here. Geraniums are hibernating here in the small house. They don't look very peachy, <laughs> but they will come back in spring and it will be wow. We hope. We hope. <laughs> this is their first winter. Yes. So I need to put this away or not. Not. So there are these very old fashioned windows and not just old-fashioned, but really old. <laughs> and yeah, we need this second, what is it? Second layer. And I will put them on. From the outside. From the outside, yes. <laughs> wow, this is such a storage area for various <laughs> plants. We need a lot of storage area. Yes. So let's put it here. And yeah, this is definitely a sign that winter is here. It's a sign that we are not planning to open the windows anymore in yes. this house. <laughs> because during summer this is always open and we need to change the air inside, but not anymore. We are switching back and forth. <laughs> so I need to remove this. And we need to close the window, of course, from here. Such a hard line here. Uh. Okay. Yeah, and you can see the water condensating here from yeah. the inside. It's very humid here in this house. Yeah, humid and cold. Guys, a nice surprise. The mushrooms are spreading. Those ones that I was eating last time. Slippery jacks or sticky buns. And there are quite a lot of them. Yeah, they are over. small. Yeah, all over the area. It's amazing. They are quite small and they will be over soon because these mushrooms don't like frost, so I will pick them today and eat them. But it's great, it's always such a nice discovery when you see how they are spreading. So, yay, I'm happy about that. We think that they started growing here because we had an outdoor shower here mm -hmm. on this ladder. So this area is uh, quite wet yeah. and they like that. Yeah, 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 so that must be it probably, so we will continue with that <laughs> next year, and that's great. Look guys, we have a visitor here. Hi, this is not ours, <laughs> it's from the neighbors, and <laughs> he likes it here, so yeah, come on. Go home. Go home. His friend is calling for him. Come here. Come here. We are leaving. <laughs> what? Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay. 
He doesn't feel like going. We are going home. <laughs> this is better, right? Such a cozy weather for, I think, a dog. Right? It looks like autumn is really over. <laughs> we decided to plant garlic today, which is why it's snowing. It's an <laughs> annual tradition. We usually plant in the snow. Yes, that happens to us almost every year. Or not almost, every year, right? <laughs> oh, oh my god. So yeah, the colors are gone and it's snowing. Great. <laughs> This year we harvested potatoes here and it was a big success. So we decided to reuse the space for garlic. Mm -hmm. The soil is uh, nice here. Uh, we worked it properly in the spring, prepared it for the potatoes and now it's like easily prepared for garlic as well. So hopefully it will grow nicely. And after this is prepared, Tommy said in a few minutes, we will plant the garlics, which are here. And these are of course our garlics that we harvested this year. Yeah, like this one. Wow, <laughs> a nice potato. This is the fourth time we are planting garlic here in our garden. And out of these four, Three times we were planting when it was snowing or there was a lot of snow already on the ground. So we are continuing the tradition today, of course. But this is how it's supposed to be, I guess. Right at the beginning of winter when the soil is not frozen yet. And it's now, <laughs> so yay. Look at the strong snow shower. <laughs> the holes are ready, so the worst part is behind us and now the nice part is to actually plant the garlic. How many do we have? I think we have 65. Uh -huh which should be our record. Every year we add more because we have bigger and bigger harvest. Mm -hmm. And we are self-sufficient in garlic. We haven't bought garlic for years, I think. Yes. So this should be more than enough. Our clothes are amazing. So, wow. <laughs> it seems like it's easy to grow garlic, at least this kind and here in our garden. It's I... not for everyone. Some people say that it's hard Mm -hmm. but to grow garlic in their garden like our neighbors i think oh but okay for us so it always worked out since the beginning i don't want to jinx it mm -hmm. so <laughs> we'll see how it is next season fortunately planting garlic is quite easy just put the garlic into the hole and add some soil obviously and then we just wait until summer when it's ready to be harvested. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we water it as well. When it's but dry. Yeah, it doesn't need too much water. No, it hates too much water. Mm -hmm. And although it doesn't need too much water, we still need to water it at least a bit at the beginning. It's December, I'm still picking goji berries, Ooh. so they are also coming to an end, but yeah, the last bits are here and 
<laughs> it's cool. It's cool picking fruits so late in the year. Yeah. And I think goji berries are originally from Himalayas. Yeah, so they are used to cold weather. And it's our least favorite fruit, but we still eat it because it's supposed to be healthy. <laughs> yeah, and like there is nothing else growing yeah. <laughs> fruit-wise. So even though it's not the tastiest, it's better than nothing. I'm also picking rose hips because they shine on the shrubs and it's a must to pick them. <laughs> I'm not able to resist them, so I will make more jam. Ooh. And it's cool. I like that we have rose hips here in our garden. So many of them. And not just the big ones that I was picking at the end of summer, the the apple rosy rose hips, but also these wild ones. We don't have to leave our property anymore. We have everything we need here. Yes, yes. We are getting becoming self-sufficient. Yeah. So it's a dream for introverts like us. No need to leave the property. <laughs> ah. Ta-da! We have one more tree of apples, but these uh, are a late variety. These are winter apples, so they should also last the longest during winter and spring. Although a lot of them are damaged, mm -hmm. so these will go bad very quickly, obviously. But we are still putting them aside and we will probably make apple sauce or something. Mm -hmm of the ground as well. There are a lot of them fallen and we've been sorting them here and here a group. So we want to use as much as possible. The basket is getting full. Very nice. And I like these ones taste wise. They are different than the other ones. All of them are delicious, but these ones, I don't know, different, sweeter or something, it's right? interesting because the red ones are the sweetest in my opinion. Hmm, I don't know, these ones are... I do know. Peter doesn't eat them actually, so he doesn't know. I He's do. He's just bubbling for the sake of it, but I'm the apple master here and I eat at least and one apple a day, so Peter eats them like maybe five apples per year. No. Like I definitely eat more, so these ones I know they are sweet, but it's different kind of sweetness than the red ones, okay? <laughs> yeah, but I have to confirm that Tommy is the apple master in our household. The basket is full, so I'm going to take it and go empty it to the storage room and I'll be back, okay? And maybe one or two more? Yeah, I think one probably. Okay. jam is done look guys and it tastes amazing it looks amazing it's so thick and it's a big success so I love it I think this is the best we've done so far our time in the kitchen is unfortunately not over I wish <laughs> We are going to make apple sauce. Mm -hmm. And mine. whose idea was that? Mine. <laughs> so. But it was my idea to do it today. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
but uh, I've got what I deserve. Mm -hmm. Because we have a lot of apples that fell down from the tree and we want to use them before they go bad. So it's better to do it now, I guess. It is, and it will be delicious. This is normally done by Peter, so fingers crossed I won't chop off my fingers. <laughs> you won't. You are a good cutter. Because you are a kitchen assistant, my prep staff, mm -hmm. and like this is right beneath up you. your alley. <laughs> this is beneath me. <laughs> no. I just wanted you to be included. Aww. You love being in the kitchen with me. You're so inclusive. <laughs> I'm going to help. I couldn't watch any longer. <laughs> My honeybee struggling. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and we have a nice, cozy Christmas atmosphere evening. Mm -hmm. I was saying that it's very great in cold old houses like this one, where you always feel cold to have your head in something warm. And now it is, and my ears are burning. <laughs> Mine are for some reason. <laughs> Tommy has a big head, so I have a big brain. Yes, so it's hard to put the head on the whole head. <laughs> oh my god, guys! Hopefully you don't mind our babbling. I mean my babbling. And if you do, tough luck. You have to suck it up like me. <laughs> uh, Tommy always phases out. Or what, what is it you do? Yeah. I learned to phase out Peter's frequencies. <laughs> so sometimes I don't even realize that he's talking to me. <laughs> yes, and I am expecting an answer and nothing is coming. <laughs> so. I have a tough life. It's like speaking to a wall. Right? Huh? What? <laughs> oh, you're here? He used nine apples. The pot is almost full. It's not a great achievement <laughs> to use only nine apples, but it's a lot at the same time. So I'm going to pour water here. even less than where the apples are, mm -hmm. so it will go down a bit. I have special spices here. This one is a mixture that we got from my sister Monica. It's from Zanzibar, so I have no idea what's in there, but it <laughs> smells nice and it smells like something that goes well with apples. And cinnamon. And now I'm just going to cook the apples for a bit so they are softer and then I will blend them. After 15 minutes, here we are, it looks like this. And it could have been shorter, I think. It's very mushy now, but I let it boil stronger for a while because I added too much water and we don't need that much water. So now I'm going to use this immersion blender and just blend this. And that's basically it. Our applesauce, spicy, cinnamony is done. So it's just a simple sauce, there is nothing there, no sugar. And we will put this into our oatmeal. We eat oatmeal every day, so we will use it very quickly, I think. It was either this or throwing the apples out, because they would get bad very quickly. Yeah. So this is a nice easy method. 
to use the apples differently than just eating them raw. Right? Right. <laughs> Tommy likes this. Tommy likes applesauce, so... That's why I suggested it. Yes. I'm glad I'm making you happy. Oh my god, look. I was... I wanted to compliment myself that I'm so not messy today, but no, this is the usual me. Now the day is ruined. You are always messy. Ugh. Okay. So yeah, that was the applesauce. <laughs> And my honeybee approves. It's delicious. Yay. While we were making applesauce, it was snowing, so we decided to go for a walk to yeah. enjoy the snow. Mm -hmm. Because this is the biggest amount of snow so far this season. Yeah, and it's always very exciting. Hopefully you can see something. I'm this, here. <laughs> this camera is not good in the dark. But we had to really go for this walk. Even though it's almost 11 pm. Yes. <laughs> so the village is very quiet now. Everybody went to sleep already. So we have to be quiet as well. And the snow also makes it quieter. I don't know. It's so cool. I love snow. <laughs> it looks so pretty. I really like when it's on the fences. That makes for a great snowy picture. <laughs> Pretty. 